everybody, Lisa Daly here. I'm the best-selling traditionally published author of eight books, and today we are going to talk about five reasons why using multiple points of view will kill your first book. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If you are new to our little community here, please be sure to like this video, subscribe, and ding that little bell so that you will be notified every Monday and Wednesday when I post new videos. We have a novel to write and you gotta make sure you get all the information you need. All right, here we go. Five reasons why multiple points of view will kill your first novel. Number one is when all of your characters sound the same. If you have a doctor and a pregnant homeless teenager and they use the same vernacular, they have the same thought process, and they use the same language, and if it's your first novel, it will be your thought process and your language uh, in most cases. It's very hard to build characters, especially as a new writer. And if you use multiple points of view, it's going to be all that much harder. If you find that you need to use multiple points of view in order to tell your story effectively, and sometimes you do, and if you find that you need that, uh, you have to be really, really careful that all of your different characters whose POV you're using uh, are definitely different and easily recognizable to the reader immediately. Reason number two that multiple POV will kill your book is when your characters know things that they shouldn't. Because you know it and one other character knows something, it does not mean the third character who was not there, didn't experience it, or didn't hear about it from another character doesn't necessarily know about the event. One of the big mistakes that new writers make is when they give a second or a third POV character knowledge or understanding or experience that they shouldn't have. If you have your second character or your third character or your eighth character reacting to something that your first character was thinking or something they experienced in their childhood if the other character doesn't know, it just makes for a mess. And that is a really common problem. It's hard enough to keep your own story straight over 300, 400, 500 pages, depending on what kind of book you're writing and how wordy you are. But if you are trying to keep three different human beings straight or five or however many you're using, uh, it can really make things a mess. Reason number three, multiple point of view, can kill your first novel is that plotting a story can be really hard and if you are trying to do that with three different people it makes it even more complicated so make life easier on yourself a lot of stories most stories can be told from a from a single point of view and if you feel like it's really going to add to the story to have these sort of multiple points of view then by all means, you know, go ahead and try that out. But if you can simplify your story and have it told from a single point of view, especially as a first time author, if you're, this is your second, third, 83rd book, POV it up, baby, you know what you're doing. But if you are just starting out as a new novelist, this is one of like the biggest, it, it causes you so many problems. It is the easiest way to reject a novel because you just don't have the experience yet to do it really well. And I'll say, I have a friend, Abby Fabiashi, who did a multiple POV book as her first book. It's called I Liked My Life. It's a fantastic, it's like an amazing book. But I have read hundreds of first novels over my career and mostly new authors can't pull it off. So maybe you're that one in a million. You might be. And if you really feel like uh, that's, that's the way this story needs to be told, if you really feel like this is the way my story needs to be told, then do not listen to me or anybody else. You tell that story, baby. Don't let me stop you. But if you're thinking, oh, well, it's fantasy or it's this, and I, you know, and it, I feel like I want to try that, 
if you are looking to sell the book, that is going to be the area that trips you up the most. So only do it if it's really, really necessary for the story. Otherwise, you probably want to stick with a single point of view. The reason number four that multiple point of view can kill your first novel is that head hopping is frustrating for the reader. A lot of times if you're going from this person to this person, back to this person, back to this person, the reader is constantly like, who is this? Is this the guy? Is this this person? Is this like they're always trying to figure things out. Who is this? Who's saying this? And in particular, if you have not established them enough as their own human being. And that is, again, something that new novelists get tripped up on all the time. And I hate to see you make that stumble because, you know, it's hard enough to get published as it is. I want to give you every opportunity I can to make sure that your book gets out into the world. So again, unless your story cannot be told any other way, try to see if you can't make it work with a single point of view. Ah! Reason number five that a multiple point of view can kill your first novel is this. It's very difficult for readers to deeply connect with your character if you have more than one. It's like if you are on, if you're going on a first date and you have that like connection, like imagine how different that is if the, your date's entire family and their aunts and relatives, Aunt Bertha's there, Uncle Frank is there. It's the same sort of scenario. It's much easier for a reader to connect with one character than it is for readers to connect with a bunch of different characters. They want to be in the head of the person that they are reading about. It's harder for your readers to connect with your main character if you are switching points of view frequently. I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm only saying this because I want you to have your best possible chance of getting published. That's right. I'm pulling for your happily ever after. All right, future bestsellers, now you have it. Five reasons why using multiple point of view can kill your first novel. So if you have a reason to do it, let me know in the comments below. I would love, love, love to hear it. If you think I'm wrong, I want to hear all about it. If you think I'm right, I definitely want to hear all about it. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please be sure to like, subscribe, and ding that little bell so that you'll be notified every time I post new videos, which is on Monday and Wednesday. Single Minded is available in hardcover and ebook from St. Martin's Press, wherever books are sold. All right, get back to that workout. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.